Hey guys, welcome back to the third video for module 1, which is Prompt Engineering Basics and Prerequisites. And in this video today, we'll be discussing about few of the basic principles for prompt engineering. Like, if you're gonna master these principles, like, no doubt, you'll be a good prompt engineer or a perfect one in no time. So yeah, let's just see what principles are those and what are those things that you need to follow in order to be a good prompt engineer. Alright, so these are the basic principles. First one is focus on your topic. So obviously, uh, if you want to prompt anything or about any situation or any topic so you should have a, a little bit of a background about that it doesn't mean like you should have a lot of knowledge about that because obviously that's exactly why you're using AI for that so you can gain knowledge about that topic right but the thing is you know you should be a lot focused to your topic you should be serious about that and you know whatever output or answer the AI is giving to you you should be like very focused to that and able to understand all that so let me just read you uh, with an example, right? Okay, so let's just say if you are a student and you want ChatGPT to write an essay for you. So for the first case, let's just say if you are not focused enough on your topic, if you're not familiar with, you know, uh, subheadings and, you know, the little headings of that. So let's just try first. Write me an essay for mobile phone. So let's just see what output is going to give it to us. All right, yeah, so as you guys can see, it's created an essay for me, but you know, uh, it has introduction, body, and you know, the headings are, let's just say if I don't want this heading, and this heading is extra in that. So yeah, obviously this is not according to my whole need and what I really wanted ChatGPT to do, right? But let's just say uh, now if I'm more focused on my topic, now I'm more familiar with that. Now I really know what headings I want from ChatGPT and what exactly I need as an output from AI. So I'm just going to type my prompt once again as write me an essay for advantages and disadvantages of a mobile phone for students. All right, yeah, so now you can see like, you know, with more detailing on my topic that I want ChatGPT to work on, I wrote advantages and disadvantages of mobile phone for students. So particularly, he gave me an introduction and as soon as that, it just jumped uh, right into the advantages and uh, gave me the exact headings that I wanted and after that it just gave me the disadvantages as well so yeah uh, now you can see like uh, with a little bit of focus and you know background on your topic you can get help from chat GPT very effectively uh, rather than you know just writing in simple prompt and you know with no background knowledge of your topic so yeah and the second principle we have is assume nothing so this is a very important principle in my view if, if you ask me so you cannot assume like chat GPT or AI is uh, right all the time like it can have errors right so you do not assume like that whatever output like chat GPT has given to us you will consider that as true all the time you definitely need to validate that and confirm that from some third party applications or you can say from Google just to see like if you have the correct version of that output or not all right the third one is to start with simple prompts obviously if you want to uh, make your output more and more better so obviously you can use as much prompts as you want obviously the more prompts will result in the more and more accurate and perfect uh, output for you all right so for this principle let's just go with an example like you know i want to join gym and you know i want to get more and more information and knowledge about you know how gym works what training should i need to do and i will try to tell chat GPT about all my information let's just start with our you know simple prompts and after that we'll jump into more and more prompts just to get the best output that we actually need so i'm gonna type here i need to join gym to lose weight what should i do let's let's just see what output is going to give it to us for that all right yes yeah, so chat gpt did give me an output but that's not exactly what i wanted i wanted chat gpt to ask me about my body weight like what kind of workout am I into and you know what exactly I wanted to so I wanted ChatGPT to ask me question instead of telling me hold this paragraph uh, bullet type of thing which I really didn't want ChatGPT to ask so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and time here another prompt and tell him about the whole scenario what's going on and why I uh, wanted to join gym so I said I'm 20 years old with 80 kilos weight and I'm about one on my BMI as well I don't like to run, so suggest me a good workout to do in order to lose weight and gain muscle. So let's just see what output is going to give it to us for that now. 
All right, so it did give me an output for that with all those Barca routine. It just gave me about warm up, circuit training, interval training. So this is actually not pleasing to I, and I'm not able to understand what exactly it's want to say. So I'm just gonna prompt him once again to create me a tabular format for that, so I can you know easily follow that, and it will be really helpful for me to understand. So I'm just gonna type in now, show all this routine to me in tabular format, in order for me to easy to understand. All right, yeah, so now you can see this looks a lot more engaging and pleasing now. So it just says workout component, exercise example, sets and reps on the last column now. So now what I can do is I can easily follow uh, this routine in my gym procedure and with all the information I gave on top of us. So this will suit exactly depending upon my situation and why I want to do workout. So yeah, the fourth principle is I trade and improve. Like I trade your prompts or, you know, modify them uh, depending upon the situation and scenario. And that will help you also uh, improve your output as well. All right, yes. Yeah, so for this, what you can do is you can keep on inserting prompts and, you know, modify them according to your need. And, you know, keep on telling a chat GPT more and more like what exactly you want and what you want chat GPT to work on and what exactly is your scenario so you can uh, just prompt again and again so that is actually quite a bit of a similar procedure of our third principle which was start with simple prompts and keep on doing prompt and prompt until you get the best desired output that you want then the fifth one is obviously practice makes better so yeah the more and more practice you're going to put in into this prompt engineering course obviously it will make you a better and better prompt engineer and yeah you can master that in no time so yeah that was basically a quick short like briefing about few uh, basic principles of prompt engineering and i'll catch you guys in my next module where uh, we'll be discussing about some of the types of prompt engineering until then i'll see you guys in the next one take care